guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have a little box here from Sephora. Let me explain. See, what had happened was Sephora decided to compete with Ulta this year. With their 21 Days of Beauty, they decided to throw out a little customer appreciation, up their point game, try to get some rewards going on, try to draw us loyal Ultima customers. Ultima? Ulta customers back in? They got me a little bit, but I have an Ulta haul coming, so don't worry. They didn't snatch all of my loyalty because I needed to go over and grab some things from Sephora that I couldn't get at Ulta, but then I grabbed what I could get at Sephora at Ulta, and I did pretty good, I think, on my sales. I got some good little deals. I got some cash back on eBay. Um, I did all right, but I'm probably not going to shop no more. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not going to shop anymore anytime soon because I have done some serious damage, guys. I'm not going to lie. You know me. You know I love to shop. You know I love a good sale. I will tell you that I did get a few things off Mark Jacobs' website because he had a 40% off sale and these things were on my wish list at Sephora. So why not get 40% instead of 20%? Of course I'm going to do that. So let's just start with what I got from Mark Jacobs. Okay. We'll start with him. So, yeah, this blush came like this in this busted box. I don't, Mark, what's with the box situation? It's all open. Anyway, this is one of his Shameless Bold Blushes in Irresistible. That's number 210. And they come in this cute little pouch because they're really fancy. And it has a cute little brush that will probably never get used. Toss it to the side. And this is Irresistible, guys stuff off on now and it's like a peach color you see that peach color yeah Woo, pretty but i'm gonna swatch everything because i have just way too much stuff but it's like a nude peach color and i'm really excited about having this stuff on the try these blushes for years although i think they're discontinuing them now because this was a pretty good deep discounted item next i got another deeply discounted item because they have actually discontinued these these are the style icon um, eyeshadow, plush eyeshadow palettes, and I got the one in the Night Owl because this was the one I wanted before they discontinued them, and I was so excited. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, let's see how she survived, Jesus. <gasps> okay, she survived. Woo. Tara. Tara, I know my face looks crazy probably the whole time, but I never edit this because I'm not edit. So, look at this. It's pretty. Can you see how pretty it is? Just pretty, pretty, pretty. Got some golds and greens and browns and just gorgeous colors. It's a great little night look, and I love golds and greens, so I really want to grab that. Got that for a good little buy, too. Then, the thing that I wanted the most from Sephora, as far as like I've been eyeballing this for years, it's been on my wish list, I know, for two or three years, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. And it is the Instamark Light Filter and Contour Powder. I'm reading off the box because the name is so long. And this is just gorgeous little duo pan, has a contour bronzer shade and a under eye setting powder. And it's so soft, so smooth. I've been eyeballing this for years and years and years. And I got it in the High Five Filter number 60, which was the deepest shade. So, I cannot wait to try it. I hope it lives up to the hype. And I want to compare it to the Barack Tantalizer Bronzer Duo to see how they compare color-wise and formula-wise. So, look out for that in the future. Might be coming. Alright, oh boy, dropping stuff everywhere. I'm in closet tonight, guys. Set all this to the side. Move Mark on out the way. Next up, I did get another eyeshadow palette from Sephora. And it was the Urban Decay for the Run. Y'all, I've been trying to resist this. The more I looks I see with it and the more I look at it, it looks like one of my favorite Vice palettes, which was the Vice 4. Which was like a shattered glass look um, packaging. If you're an Urban Decay fan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And look at this. This looks so much like that one, but that one had such bulky packaging, and I really love that one the most. I uh, gave, I think I sold it on Poshmark because I just the packaging was just too big for the way I store my palettes, and I was never reaching for it except for like all summer long. I could just lay it on my counter and use the shimmers out of it. 
but I love how this looks and it reminded me of that and I really want to resist it but hey I couldn't any longer so I had to grab it so I did cannot wait to use it and it's so slim and compact I cannot wait to use it and Ladessa from blogless behavior was on here um was when she was on Facebook and Instagram making paint making gorgeous looks on her page and I was like Okay, I'm gonna get that on that, so thank you. So I snatched that up. Then I got some things, a few more things. I only have a few more, guys. I'm almost done. I'm probably stealing, okay? But I'm just gonna tell you right anyway. Okay, yep. Okay, so we'll do lip products last. Lip products last. And samples, maybe never. Some samples, YSL, the loop, lip, lip color balm. And then a Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil Sample and a perfume sample that I always wear to my aunt. So, who cares about that? So, over there. So, these are the last few things I grabbed. First up, I got this Becca Dream Sickle Blush Shimmering, Shimmering Skin Perfector. And it's a gorgeous packaging, like a creamy packaging with silver. And it has this gorgeous little swirl design on it. Can you see that? Maybe. No, I don't focus on it. It's too bright. It's, okay, then I move it blurred out. But it has a swirl pattern to it. If you can kind of catch it in the light, and it's just kind of shiny and orange. I got it because I waited to do my all my four orders to after they posted the Labor Day sales because they always have a Labor Day sale coupon. Things go on sale 20 to 40 percent off, and then you use 20 percent off on top of that. And this was just like a golden orange color, and I loved. I love collecting the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, which you will know if you've ever looked at any of my collection videos plug for the highlighter collection videos i'll throw them up in the app card so you guys can see those then i got something i've been eyeballing for quite some time as well this is called be merry by i don't know if it's lila or lila b i don't really know how you say that brand but it's a gorgeous little thing i think it's lila i think it's lila b and it comes with these little cute little coins turn the light off because I can't see. Maybe that's better. It just looks darker but it's fine. But you can see the things now. So this is by Lala B and you just flip it up like this and you get a gorgeous maroon berry colored cream that can be used on the eyes the lips the face anywhere i'm so excited to try these these are pricey but this is super heavy in looks and it also came with a cream highlighter which just blends into the skin and makes a glowy look on the skin and i cannot wait to give these a try because i've been eyeballing these for probably five or six months so i feel like i just grabbed a lot of things that i've been eyeballing for a long time from sephora so next up i got a sephora lip melting lip click and this was in a berry as you can see i kind of had a mood going this is a berry color and it's just clear berry lip had a berry thing going so i grabbed that then I grabbed some things from Shoshado because of my little Shoshado princess here on YouTube gadget. Lily, Lily, I'm finally about to swatch these. This is a Zuki Red number four. Oh my gosh, it perfectly is a shade of my shirt. Guys, it's so beautiful. Lily, it's soft. I might have to have them all. I'm just saying, they're gorgeous and I love eye crayons and pencils. They're so beautiful. Then I grabbed, I'm telling you, I have a serious color mood, very burgundy color mood going here. And I grabbed one of their Minimalist Whipped Powder Blushes in Ayoy. Ayoy? A-Y-A-O? I'm really not trying to say that, but this color though, look at that berry. Gorgeous berry color. And I'm going to just rub some on my hand there. Put that back. And I'm going to show you the color. Because it is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Berryness. Yeah. I definitely had a color move going with that. All those berries for sure. Because the next couple things I the next thing I have coming up is also a berry. And it is by Bite. 
It is by Bite Beauty and it is one of their Amush, Amuse Boosh. I cannot talk today. Liquefied Lip in Cassava. And it's also a berry. Wee. Look how smooth that is, guys. Barely any pressure. One time out the tube. Gorgeous berry color. Like, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I was definitely in a berry mood. And when fall comes, I will not lie, I am in such a berry cranberry mood all the time. Then I got this cute little sample from Shiseido, and it came in exotic red. Look at this cute little packaging. This is a this is a huge sample. Look how big that is. I feel like this is almost the size of some people's full size lipsticks. But look at that red. It is beautiful. Just beautiful. Cannot wait for you guys to see that on my lips one day soon. Because it will be coming on my lips very shortly. And then I got a little Bobbi Brown sample in Babe. So it's just like a nudie peachy pink color. Smells like lemons though. Like lemon cake. Smells good. And it's, that's the crushed lip color in Babe by the way. So crushed lip color in Babe. Shishado Exotic Red, Cassava by Bite Beauty. Those were the lip colors, the lip products that I picked up from, I'm dropping stuff. Those were the lip products that I picked up from the sale, guys. And they were all beautiful, with the exception of this Pat McGrath set, which I'm going to film a little haul video separately of. So we can do an unboxing and opening of all these glittery things. So stay tuned for that. That's all of my haul from Sephora. Like, comment, subscribe. What'd you get?